Well, that was fast. Earlier this week, USC senior offensive analyst Cliff Kingsbury was announced as the Raiders' next offensive coordinator, which many believe that the Las Vegas Raiders were going to trade up for the number one overall pick to reunite him with Caleb Williams. But on Saturday, February 3rd, Kingsbury backed out of the Raiders' job and now is likely going to the Washington Commanders. This worked out so well for the Chicago Bears because it gives the opportunity for Chicago to trade back with the commanders for real just one spot. It could also just with that one spot allowing Chicago to get not only maybe Marvin Harrison Jr., but some mid-round picks and even a veteran. So I'm going to do what I did a few days ago with the Las Vegas Raiders, and I'm going to do two different trade packages today with the Washington Commanders, one involving a veteran, one not. This actually was a great move for Chicago the more I look at it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Before I begin the show today, if you want the Chicago Bears to trade back that number one pick and get a haul with the Washington Commanders, make sure to smash the like button on this video comment the trade that you would do with the commanders and i am giving away a montez sweat autograph mini helmet all you need to do is subscribe to the channel like this video and comment which trade scenario you want to do or the trade you would do if either option isn't for you so let's get into both team situation before the trade back currently the chicago bears have about 49 million in cap they're gonna have to use that money to extend jalen johnson yes they're gonna make some moves but still not as much cap as we had last year to make a lot of moves not a lot of room to work with especially with what our draft capital has and chicago only has six upcoming picks at the moment to our top 10 picks but no second rounders because we actually sent our second rounder to the washington commanders keep that in mind but i want that second rounder to be a center the bears have to get that position right there are three really good centers i'm doing a video covering all of them in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that but there are some really good centers in this upcoming draft and chicago needs to solidify the interior of the offensive line the commanders on the other hand they have nine picks at the moment including chicago second rounder that we sent from montez sweat they also have the most most projected cap entering the offseason with more than $83 million. So Washington has nine picks. They can have some areas of need they need to address as well. As long as having the most money too, they have a big possibility to be a able to rebuild this thing fast and having Caleb Williams would just make that even faster in theory for him. So let's do some trade backs today. Now keep in mind that teams that are in the top 10 are rumored to need to give up at least two first round picks to move up with the Chicago Bears and moving one spot it's not just a pick swap and another pick like usual that you guys see some teams are going to come off in Chicago three first rounders three second rounders a veteran just tons of crazy trade packages that we've seen going across the web so far and Washington is going to have to still give up a lot to move up one pick in order to get Caleb Williams. So the first trade back I'm going to do is with a veteran, and that's going to be looking at a defensive lineman again from the Washington Commanders. And I would like to get someone through either free agency or this trade because of the fact that our draft, we can get a lot of other big positions way cheaper and on good contracts. But I am taking Jonathan Allen, defensive tackle from the Washington Commanders in this trade package. Would love to pair him again with Montez Sweat because those two ripped it up. The 6'3", 300-pound, 29-year-old has two years left on his contract. And last year, without any help, even after Montez Sweat left, he had 53 total tackles, 19 quarterback hits, 10 tackles for loss, and five and a half sacks as a defensive tackle up the middle. We would have to owe him an average of $22.5 million on the cap the next two seasons. He is 29, but he's in the prime of his career. He's playing out of his mind. He's really got things going the last couple of seasons, and I would love to see the Bears get him in a trade. So that trade would be sending the number one to the Commanders and getting the number two, the number 40, so getting our pick back. Defensive tackle Jonathan Allen in a 25 first. You're moving up one spot, but again, people like the Raiders and the Falcons could send three years worth of first veterans multiple mid-round picks 
So Washington is going to have to do something to make the Bears answer that call. It addresses the need of defensive tackle for the Chicago Bears and pairing him with Montez Sweat, allowing us to get a young edge rusher maybe with that ninth overall pick. Also, you can still get Marvin Harrison Jr. at number two. We get our second back that goes out and gets that center I was talking about. And of course, we get another first rounder in 25. So to do a trade back with the commanders without Jonathan Allen involved, it's going to cost them a few more picks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the number one to Washington for the number two, number 40, number 100 pick, a 25 first and a 25 second. Allen is worth a first round pick in himself. And I'm just adding two picks, a second and a fourth, fourth this year, second next year, in order to fill in that need for him. Again, it is a big trade just to move up one spot. But Washington has a lot of picks. They have a lot of money. They already have a lot of pieces in place. They can get a big contract off their books. They can take another defensive tackle in the draft. So this team can continuously build. And also they need Caleb Williams if they're going to have Cliff Kingsbury. Washington has a new head coach, a new front office, a ton of money and a ton of picks. They're going to want to have a franchise quarterback moving forward, which I think would be great for them. So overall, the commanders are in a very good position right now, but this also helps the bears out as well. Both teams are doing a good work together. They did that trade earlier in the season. So the bears overall helped out Washington, got Montez sweat off their book. Washington helped out Chicago, giving us Montez sweat. It all worked out. There's a good relationship and having Ian Cunningham back with Ryan Poles, they can definitely do some good negotiating. And thank you for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rody, and as always, bear down, baby.